Aquarius, good evening. I've had a great day today. Plenty of gardening in preparation for tomorrow, because tomorrow's my birthday. Um, so I'm going to have a nice relaxed day and enjoy the, enjoy the garden and all the work that I've done. Uh, tomorrow's video will probably do it from the garden to show you what I've been doing. Um, a lot of strimming because I haven't got a lawnmower at the moment uh, and you'll understand why tomorrow. What else have I done? Um, I uh, cooked some lamb broth with lots of pulses and beans which I love um, and the girls liked it too which has always been a bonus and uh, my darling husband made some rock buns so I've probably already had three um, and I'm trying to ration myself but um, one of my little favourite uh, treats uh, with a cup of tea um, and if I don't ration myself I will eat them all okay so what have I got today for you well <clears throat> I've got a, a, <laughs> a difficult pronunciation for you or for me um, El Haniman I think that's how you pronounce it um, and that is the God who is faithful and I've taken the scripture from Deuteronomy 7 verse 9 know therefore that the Lord your God is God he is the faithful God keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations and those who love him and keep him and keep his commandments that's really quite encouraging um, because um, I think the virtue of faithfulness uh, in today's society is virtually non-existent we don't really um, get um, reliability and loyalty these days we certainly don't get it in if we're going to um, renew um, a utility bill or or um, go shopping you don't tend to get loyalties these days you have to shop around all the time you have to try and get the good deals um, and even in your jobs a lot of people now don't stick with the same job it used to be a job for life um, it isn't anymore um, I think it's uh, recommended that you change your job every so often I think given like I don't know um, seven years something like that uh, or even shorter because if you don't you're not progressing you're not learning you're not learning a new skill um, and even um, shoppers um, they're very fickle um, and um, unfortunately I'll probably you know even make a comment to say that you know marriage isn't sacred now it's not a lifetime thing it's swap and change if it's not working out we'll trade that other person in and we'll get a new one um, not what I believe but you know some people some people do and they swap around their 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 partners girlfriends boyfriends husbands and wives too often I'm afraid these days so nothing seems to be permanent nothing seems to be steadfast nothing seems to you know have that durability um, and, and faithfulness uh, goes along the wayside unfortunately uh, and this passage that um, I, I read from this is when Moses was taking um, uh, it took him 40 years to actually get into the promised land while wandering around in the desert um, and uh, they had to rely on God they had to um, put their trust in him that eventually ultimately at the end of the day he would deliver them he will bring them through and they will get into the promised land and um, it's um, interesting if we look at this Hebrew word El El is commonly known um, word for God and if you combine it with the Aman which is El Hanan I think that's how I pronounce it well this verb means to support to prop up and to behold so in, in both those combinations we see this attribute of God that Moses is, is declaring is proclaiming um, and um, using this divine name Moses can be assured he, in he, he was um, uh, letting his people know that they can rely on him to get them through whatever whatever it is that they're going through and you can see from the track record that God provided food for them in the desert he provided water for them in the desert he stopped the enemies from um, from following them etc he did all these things for them and um, I think um, if you, I'm, I'm hoping that we're not going to be 40 years into this um, situation. We're in a lockdown, and this this coronavirus is um, really taking hold of our lives. I'm hoping that things will start to shift 
um, within 40 days even um, and um, you know we just don't know there's a bit of uncertainty about it but what I can say is that we or I know a God that I can put my utmost assurance in and have complete uh, certainty in that he will bring me through he will bring you know anybody that puts their trust in him through um, that given situation so I hope I've encouraged you and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow and I'll give you a rundown of what my garden looks like now uh, and what I intend to do okay bye